world, Scotty D. Thanks for stopping by Interface Webcast. Now, this video is not a topic that we typically cover on this channel. You know, we always cover technology, entertainment, audio, things like that. Uh, but this video I thought was worthy to at least put together for people that are of interest in this specific topic, and that is cribs. And I'm not talking about whole houses, I'm talking about cribs for babies and for those families that are expecting a child. That happens to be the case in our family and during the research trying to find the perfect crib, we really couldn't find anything that was as specific as we were hoping to find. And that was to see the product unboxing, see the product how it is assembled, and then get the opinion of an independent person on the quality of the product. So. That's what I'm going to be doing today. This happens to be the Delta Bentley 4-in-1 crib. And what that means is this crib will actually transform into four different sleeping arrangements for your child. And that means it will start off with a crib and end up in a full-size bed. Now, what I'm going to be doing for you today is, first and foremost, I'm going to be going and doing the unboxing. I'm going to assemble the product and I'm going to give you my opinion of the product afterwards. So if you are researching for a crib for your unborn child, or if you happen to know somebody who is expecting and they're doing research as well, hopefully this video will help them as well. So let's get started with the unboxing, then the assembly, and then my opinion. Let's go. All right, now what we have here you see is a damaged box. This is the way it came from the shipping company. Uh, that's okay, the shipper actually marked it down as a damaged box, so hopefully everything inside is okay. Uh, I have the packing slip right here. The Delta Bentley 4-in-1 is exactly what we ordered. We happen to order this from Target.com, so if that's uh, of interest to you of where you can order this crib, that's where we got it. It was shipped directly to our house, so very good at that. So let me throw that over here, and let's go ahead and open up the box. Not too bad, we have a couple pieces of dinged styrofoam, but you know, they put this in here in hopes to uh, protect the product, so hopefully that's what we're gonna find. So let's go ahead and flip open this piece of styrofoam, and what you see here is more styrofoam. Gotta love this stuff. Maybe I'll find a use for it. And uh, let's go over here. And what do we have here? We have the hardware. It says, um, do not open with any sharp objects, okay? And do not throw away, very important. So if you are getting this crib, don't throw this box away. Uh, let's look inside here. Oh, right on, very cool. So nothing else in this box. What we have here is all of the assembly pieces as well as the tool to put it together. So that's nice, you don't have to go down into the garage or to your toolbox and get anything. Everything comes at, included with this crib, so that's gonna be nice. And it's separated by the types, the quantities, and uh, should be very useful once we get down to the instructions. So let's uh, set this aside, and let's see what we got here. Um, I think we're going to kind of separate pieces and uh, more styrofoam. Put this over here. I think we're going to take everything out, separate it, and uh, kind of get things organized so we can put it together. If you've done any of these things before, typically the instructions are at the bottom. I don't know why, but they always put the instructions at the bottom of the box. Uh, more styrofoam. Wow. Here is one of the pieces of the crib. This looks like a side rail. This is solid wood, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so this is not pressed wood. This is solid wood. Um, just in case you want to see. I'll see if you can show up on camera. If you can see the wood grain, the rails, um, everything is solid. Nothing is pressed wood. That's what I like about this crib. Uh, it doesn't look like it's damaged at all. It's got some styrofoam dust on it, but other than that, it's in good condition. Uh, no dings, dents, or scratches, or scrapes. That's a good thing, so we're going to set this off over here. And uh, pay attention to the stickers that come on these things. This is... Um, this is the right inside bottom. All right, now we have the left inside bottom. Um, some safety styles and whatnot on here. 
safety instructions there. Again, solid wood. No pressed wood here. That's good. Looks like it's going to be fairly simple to assemble. This is a sturdy headboard. Uh, this is actually the back of the crib. Um, really solid. Probably weighs probably five pounds. Um, very solid construction on this thing. So I flip it around and take a look at it. A lot of dado joints. Uh, for those of you who cut wood, you know what I'm talking about. If not, look up a dado joint online. Um, you can definitely see that this is solid wood as well. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but you can see all the, the grain of wood here, the, the grain of wood here on the backboard as well. Now what is going to happen is later on in uh, the child's years with this one, this being the back of the crib, the part that faces the wall, this will actually become the headboard on a full-size bed as they become older. So part of the four-in-one. So let me go ahead and set this aside. Over here. This looks like the front rail. This would be the side that you walk up to the crib and um, you know, put your child in and out of the crib. This is the side that you'd be facing. Get some of this packing material out of the way so you can see it, everything. Here is the front rail. Really nice construction. Really nice features on this thing. Again, solid wood. Really nice construction on this thing. Let me go ahead and set this aside. Unboxing everything, making sure there are no damaged parts. One of the most important things you can do when you get something shipped to you in the mail is inspect it as soon as you get it open. That way if you have any damaged or missing parts, you can uh, contact the manufacturer or the person you bought it from and inform them. So, yeah, all of these pieces, completely solid wood. Nice. I like that. This right here is the bottom of the crib, which is where the mattress goes. Keep in mind, this crib, if you are buying the Delta Bentley 4-in-1, it does not come with the mattress. You're going to have to buy that separately. Um, this looks like, oh, instructions are in this envelope. So, again, <laughs> I predicted right. Uh, right at the bottom of the entire packing, uh, you have to unbox the entire thing to get to this, which is attached to the mattress uh, piece. Um, and this is where the instructions are. So I'm going to go ahead and move the camera, and we'll go ahead and start the, um, the assembly of this Delta Bentley 4-in-1 crib. All right, so we have everything unboxed. We've inspected everything, and everything looks good. There's no damage. And it's time to do the assembly. Now, as I mentioned, the instructions for the Delta Bentley 4-in-1 crib are attached to the spring frame that the mattress goes on in this paper envelope. It's kind of like an inner office envelope with the string twirled around that little piece. So you undo the string, open it up, and uh, go ahead and take out the instructions. Uh, let's see. It does say adult assembly required. So make sure that uh, you're an adult. If not, you'll get in trouble. Uh, looks like um, it has a good outline of all of the parts, the pieces, the, the, oh, see that right there? Don't use a motorized drill to screw in anything. It might damage the wood, might damage the assembly, might damage the parts, so don't do that. Use a flathead screwdriver, which is not included, but I do have one here in the room as I do the assembly, so make sure you have a flathead screwdriver along with the tools uh, that came with it. Remember, here is the, the tool kit that it comes with it with all of the hardware and the Allen wrench right there, So, uh, or the hex wrench. They call it an Allen wrench. Um, some people call it differently, so go ahead and have your flathead screwdriver and your uh, parts kit right there. And let's see how many 
steps it's going to take to assemble the crib. We got step one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six, yeah, six steps to put together the crib and uh, you're going to witness right here, can it be done by a single person? So let's get started. So even though it says up here, get the leg part and it says times one, when you look at the picture, there's two that you're going to put on here. So go ahead and get those ready and make sure that you follow the parts list up here and get those out of the parts uh, envelope that they included. I'll do a full measurement for you once I have it completely assembled so you can kind of figure out, oops, see pieces of water falling, so you can figure out how much space you're going to need in your room uh, if you're looking at the same crib. What you're going to be using on this first part is this whole section right here, which is the six 85 millimeter bolts and barrel nuts right here. So you're going to use this whole piece of the hardware kit and a couple of these pins from down over here. All right, so the barrel nut has kind of a Phillips head on it. And this is the bolt that's going to go into the barrel nut. So you can use either a flathead screwdriver or a Phillips head screwdriver on this. I'm going to prefer a Phillips head just because I trust those a little bit more. It's always good to keep those Allen wrenches too after you do your assembly. Don't throw them away. You can use them for other things around your, uh, your workbench or your projects that you're working on. They're not the best hexer wrenches. Um, they do tend to bend after a short amount of time, but they're, they're decent. And also as you're changing your bed from step one, which is the crib, to the toddler bed and so on, you're going to need that hex wrench um, for the future. So make sure you uh, store it in a nice safe place. And that completes step one. Awesome. Not too hard. And now we're going to go to step two. We're going to be uh, configuring up the sides, front and, you know, you got the back wall, which is the arch piece. Then you're going to be configuring up the sides. Looks pretty straightforward. There are already uh, tapped and uh, threaded holes in the wood uh, for the back rail. So we're going to go ahead and stand the back rail up and we're going to need six of the 40 millimeter uh, bolts to go in and also your supplied Allen wrench. So let's get started. And don't forget to pay attention to the inside and the outside uh, parts of the crib uh, pieces so that you get them assembled properly. Right inside bottom, left inside bottom. So keep in mind to follow those when you're putting this together. I was leaving you out of the whole assembly. You're over there and you're looking at the carpet. That's not fun. Now the important thing to keep in mind is this is wood. You don't want to torque down on it like you're wrenching down on two pieces of metal. Um, keep in mind that if you do wrench down on it pretty hard, you're going to either damage the wood, split the wood, um, and, and just uh, keep that in mind as you're assembling this to um, just get it down to where it's snug. You can always tighten it up a little bit later if it feels loose, but don't wrench down on it too hard and damage your products. All right, so now we have both the left and the right are, uh, sides uh, assembled to the back piece. And now we're gonna move to step three. Not too bad so far. 
I still agree that wholeheartedly this can be assembled by a single person in a short amount of time. <clears throat> now we are going to be assembling the mattress support spring, which is this piece. We're going to be assembling this to the entire frame structure before we put on the front piece. So, this piece has a couple of swing arms on it, <clears throat> and this helps you to um, assemble it in place, get it to the right height, and make it level for uh, the baby that's going to be sleeping in this. Or if you're going to be doing this for uh, converting it to a toddler bed, this is the same frame that you're going to be using for a toddler bed. So assembly step number three. We need the Allen wrench, four of the 15 millimeter bolts, and the mattress support spring. And they still have the envelope attached to it. Isn't that just interesting? I assume that they want you to keep that on there so uh, as you go through your steps, uh, converting this from the crib all the way through to uh, the conversion four, which is the full size bed conversion back over here, um, all of the instructions will be left with the actual frame itself so you don't lose it. So don't take that off. Just leave the uh, envelope on the uh, mattress support spring frame. All right, so what do we got to do here? We have to put this on the lowest level, lowest level or the highest level. There are three different levels um, because this is a going to be for a infant first, you can have it up higher. And then as the baby gets a little bit bigger, you can lower that frame down. And that's what these three sets of holes are for. So because ours is gonna be a infant first, I'm gonna set it to the highest structure first. And then as the baby gets older, as I said, we can lower it to the uh, respective holes so the baby can't climb out of the crib. Now we are done with step number three, and we're gonna to move to step number four. And this is the assembly of the front piece, the front railing, and there's four different pieces for the front railing. There is the, um, the piece that looks like a ladder, the front rail. There's a stabilizer bar, which is a, um, a bar, and I'll show you that in a second. It's kind of have a, a cut curve to it. Then there's two uh, legs that go onto it. You're going to need four of the pins, your Allen wrench, and six of the 60 millimeter bolts that are going to go into this. So let's get started on that. And here's the picture diagram for that. thinking about this uh, during the assembly, the envelope that sits at the bottom of the uh, mattress frame, the spring assembly, that you're going to keep the instructions in, be a good idea to store this in there as well, that way you don't lose it. They don't tell you to do that, just uh, one of those things that I have been thinking about where I would store this after I get the whole bed assembly in a crib fashion. Um, this will have a nice place that I know exactly where this Allen wrench is at all times so that during future conversions I won't have to hunt for it. I flipped it upside down right now so you can see that the um, nylon footing is right here facing up. The reason why I did that is I need to assemble this piece on to the bottom of the railing and this piece requires two of the alignment pins which go into here and here, and then I need to put some screws in as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get the alignment pins out of my kit. There are alignment pin holes here on the side of the leg, and there are alignment pin holes here at the bottom, so uh, you do have to kind of remember that as you're putting this together. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen this up. See, that's why I'm doing this video for you, so that you don't have to go through the same pain points uh, as you assemble yours. 
I'm going to loosen up just one side. I don't need to loosen up both sides uh, because once I loosen up one side, it's going to give me the um, distance I need to get all of the alignment pins installed. So. All right, and that is the assembly of the front rail system. And step number five is to attach the front rail system onto the rest of the frame. So you can see we've assembled step number four, now we're putting it onto step number five, which requires uh, six of the 40 millimeter bolts um, and the Allen wrench. Now, keep in mind, this is the last step, and I have three extra bolts here, and that's for future assembly as this thing converts down uh, from step one to step two, three, and four. So don't lose these. Don't think that these are extra and throw them away. Store these in the pocket uh, underneath the mattress with the, um, the uh, assembly instructions and the Allen wrench, and interestingly, that is... Uh, step number six of the entire instructions is put all of this extra stuff that you have inside of that uh, envelope to keep it safe for future. So don't think that those are extra and you forgot to install them somewhere. That's definitely for future assembly as you go through all of the different steps. And there you have it, complete assembly of the Delta Bentley 4-in-1 crib. Uh, took about a half hour time frame to get it done. I'm going to follow step number six, and that's put all of my uh, parts, my Allen wrench, my extra uh, bolts for later, as well as my instruction booklet into the envelope here at the bottom of the mattress frame and uh, we're good to go. Last but not least, I'm going to give you the measurements and my opinion of the Delta Bentley 4-in-1 crib. Alright, so let's give you the measurements of this guy. From front to back, you're looking at about 30 and 3 quarter inches. The height of the back board is about 47 and 3 quarter inches. The length of the entire bed is 57 and a quarter inches and that is from the left rail to right rail as I measured that. The front railing height as it's installed is about 34 and a quarter inches and the mattress uh, frame here at the um, at the highest level that it's mounted right now uh, on the top mount hole is about 15 inches and if you were to go down to the lowest hole um, it looks like each mount hole is about 5 inches, so if we go to the bottom hole, the bottom hole is 12 inches off the ground, which would make the mattress sit around 7 inches off of the ground, so that's pretty low. The mattress would be right, uh, actually let me lower the camera here. If we were to mount the mattress at the lowest level as the child becomes bigger, the mattress would, uh, frame would be sitting right along this area right here, mounted on the lowest hole, which is 12 inches, uh, minus the 5 inches for the drop of the mattress uh, against the mount hole, gets around 7 inches. Um, so if you figure the mattress is probably about 3 to 4 inches thick, that means your mattress is probably going to be, uh, the top of the mattress is going to be probably close to where the bottom of the uh, frame sits right now. All in all, I love this product. Solid wood construction, easy to assemble, very well manufactured, and uh, I just really had a great time putting this together. Uh, easily put together by a single person in 30 minutes or less. And uh, if you have any questions around the Delta Bentley 4-in-1, 
Don't forget to comment below. I'll try to answer those to the best of our ability based on our experience with the Delta Bentley 4-in-1 crib. And uh, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, share it with all of your friends and family that are looking for a crib or are expecting a baby and they're researching um, potential crib options. This uh, video might help them in their decisions. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell all of your friends about Interface Webcast, and we'll see you next time, Web World.